guys and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for watching my last videos, I really hope you enjoyed them. And if you do love my videos, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Now today's video is something really exciting, something I've been looking forward to for a long time now. And I've told many of you about and I've said, I've said I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. And today is that day I'm eventually going to be doing it. And of course these are a hint. Today I'm going to be making my own homemade wooden sunglasses. For my materials I have got some scrap wood which I have found around the house. Uh, this is just from a chest of drawers. I've just brought one drawer into the workshop um, but there is a lot more down in the wood shed. But we're just going to get started with these three bits of wood. Um, I also bought this cheap pair of glasses just from the pound shop for a pound. Um, it's just so we can pop out the lenses to use those in our frame. So we better get straight on with it and see how this turns out and I'm so, so excited. Okay, so this is my workspace all set up. I've got my scroll saw um, attached to the bike stand uh, with a ratchet strap so that it's nice and sturdy on there. Um, I've got this old wall chest which I'm using as my worktop and underneath I'm storing my materials and of course we've got this drawer to take apart. So let's get straight on and take this drawer apart. I'm just going to go and get a pen and I'm going to start drawing on my shapes and then start cutting them out on the scroll saw. So let's crack on and see what we can do. So if I just measure this, I can see that this lens actually does look a lot smaller than that one. Um, so like a centimetre, so five and a half centimetres, actually five, that is not bad at all, those are pretty bang on, they are both five and a half centimetres um, in diameter in that bit, so that's fine, let's measure the bottom bits, they don't look too grand, so let's say four, four, I'm pretty happy with that, they are the same size everywhere. That's good. Okay, so I've now drawn on um, my two main pieces. So this is going to be sort of a prototype because obviously I said I didn't have a plan. So this is going to be um, a test to see how it goes. I'm going to cut this out on this wood. I've got plenty more bits to spare. And then if it goes well, we will cut it out of the hardwood and make the actual pair. Okay, so that's that now cut down to a nice size. And I'm just going to cut that out on the scroll saw. So let's get on with that. Goggles on. to know is do they work so far as glasses and if we put them both on they do so that is really good and we'll just get this front piece cut out and then we will have a full pair of sunglasses Um, all three components to our pair of glasses and so they will just connect like that there we go now obviously uh, this will look better when it's in the hardwood but how cool are they and they actually fit and they actually look right so that is that so far we just need to find out now how to attach those. I'm not going to bother cleaning this up because this is just a prototype like I said earlier. So I think I'm not going to actually bother to um, put those together. I might just keep them like that and now go ahead, use these as stencils and cut out the actual real pair of glasses. Okay, so what I 
I first want to do is just clean up um, these frames a little. So I've brought the Dremel out. Okay, so I'm just going to go around the edges and try to neaten this up a bit. So let's see how that goes. Okay, so I've now um, dremeled this so it's a lot smoother and the edges are a lot rounder and it's just more like a nice pair of sunglasses but what I have overlooked is the fact that this is going to be the outside layer it is extremely thick because of the wood I used but I wanted the grain of the hard wood but I didn't think about the thickness of it because the plan was effectively it would go like that and like that but now if you actually look at the glasses, well, I don't know, the lens is quite far back from seeing there. So it's now like, I don't know, half an inch back from the front of the glasses, which perhaps does look a bit odd. See, so I could leave it like that. Or instead I could turn it around so that at that piece is on the front. Um, that's a bit more glasses like or I could cut that in half get rid of this and sandwich it between the two halves of this but I don't really want to do that because um, when we come to putting it together uh, and like screwing these bits in and stuff and creating hinges I think it would be a lot easier to have the thicker width here to have that whole half an inch to work with um, especially if I'm going to be drilling through things, so I don't want everything to split. So I'm, I want to keep that thickness. So what I might have to do is actually just scrap the grain, the lovely grained wood I wanted, and in fact put this one on the front. I guess it's not the worst thing that could happen. We could always paint them, stain them, anything. They are still made of wood. Okay, so my plan now is to attach the lenses to the sunglasses frame. So what I want to do is make sure I'm going to get some kitchen roll because I'm using super glue and this could all go horribly wrong. Ooh, this is quite scary. <laughs> I'm going to glue the edge of the lens to the frame. Right, okay. So what I'm going to do, I think, I'm going to apply a little bit of glue to the underside of this top piece and then I'm going to um, nail it together. So what I want to do is get my drill. Wrong way. And I want to choose a small drill about the same size as the nails. So I'm going to do pilot holes where the nails are going to go because uh, I don't want to split the wood, particularly this one on top because it's quite thin. There we go. Marvellous. Right, so what I'm going to do is now, as this piece here is drying, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start smoothing out the arms and making them look a little bit nicer. Okay, so that's our two arms there, and they look really nice together. We've got our lenses in the frame. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place these um, around the sunglasses that will look all right in a design sort of fashion. And then I'm going to cut um, the top and bottom out of this, just leaving a bit in the middle, so they can then fit together and hinge off one another with a pin through the middle, if that makes sense. So that's my basic plan. Um, I'm hoping it will work. I'm not entirely convinced, but it should do. 
should be fine. So let's just try it out and see how it goes. There we go. So they fold to that degree, which to be honest is fine. I didn't don't mind if it doesn't completely fold. I just want them to function as sunglasses. In fact, before we put the other arm on, we better just check that they actually do work on the face. So here goes. Oh yes. Okay, so now I've got um this arm in and I've put a pin through it and it is nice and securely attached to that. However, we have got this huge pin hanging out the bottom, this huge nail coming out the bottom, um, which I want to get rid of. Now, I did think about bending it back with the pliers, but um, I don't feel like I can do that in a safe enough way so that my frame isn't going to break. So I d really don't want to cause any more splits to the wood because this is my fifth attempt and I don't want to have to do it again. Now, so I'm going to try out... Um, cutting the nail so it's shorter and not sticking out of the bottom and then what i'm going to do is just, just put a blob of solder onto the bottom of the nail to widen the base so that it can't come out uh, hopefully that will secure it i'm just going to go and try out the solder on two different types of nails and see if it actually works and then if it does we will do it straight onto there <laughs> Yep. Ah, hot. But that has actually worked. Okay, that's fine. So we can... Brilliant. So that means we can now use the solder to secure it with that bond pin. Okay, fabulous. I'm just going to go and get the glasses, get another copper pin, and then we will put it together. So, just need to find the brush. I literally found it the other day. Somewhere really obvious. Okay. Okay, so turn this back on. Uh, this gas soldering iron is really good, by the way, <laughs> just thought I'd say as I'm using it. Uh, it heats up really quickly, a lot quicker than the electric ones, and it's fantastic. I'm just going to brush that off. Um, so the other arm isn't quite ready to do yet. Um, it needs dremeling down a bit, and my dremel has died. But I will do exactly the same thing as I did with this arm and get it on the other side. And then I will show you what it looks like when it's all put together. And that will be us done. So, on to the last step, getting this second arm on and then we are finished. So, that is the end of this video, the end of this project. And I can say the result is amazing and I'm really pleased with how it's turned out. I was actually really surprised with how well it was going all the way through the video. And I really wasn't, I really wasn't expecting it to go that well because I hadn't planned a thing until literally 11 a.m. this morning when I got straight onto that wood. That was the first any sort of planning or ideas I'd actually had. It was just a concept in my mind. So I guess the first thing we need to do is try these on. So let's go for it. Do they even fit my ears? This is the question. So they do actually fit, but I do have to look up a bit. Oh, there we go. Yes. So I think they actually do fit me quite well. Um, they're not really staying on my nose though, and I've realised what the problem is here. So basically, what I needed to do, was, as you can see on the inside, this frame is really, really thick. So here, um, on the arms where it's a bit too thick, I did taper it in um, above where my ears would be. But I overlooked on the frame um, where I would need to... Uh, relieve this slightly with the Dremel to make it sit well into my face and if I just make a slight alteration they will be absolutely perfect and fit really well but I'm so impressed considering we had all those mishaps along the way and in fact in my pocket here I've got our previous four attempts at the arms before we got 
the perfect ones. It was a bit of a challenge and a struggle along the way, but it was just so fun and I really enjoyed making these. Um, I just I can't wait to just give them a little alter and start wearing them. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you really enjoyed it. And as always guys, if you do love these videos and you want to see more, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share for more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Thank you.